we've talked about laminate countertops in the past. Well, now we're going to take a step up. Fabio is here with the Par Cabinet Outlet, and he's going to talk to us about natural stone, granite, as well as some man-made stuff thrown in right. there as well. This is this is beautiful. One thing I notice about granite is it's so shiny. Yes, you can get it actually in a couple different hues. This is a, this is what's called a high gloss hue, and this is actually granite tile. And you see granite tile; it's it's naturally uh, a step above a laminate typically as far as uh, pricing goes and you can find thousands of tile styles out there whether it be a granite tile or a porcelain tile and it's used in kitchens, shower surrounds, bathroom countertops, floors, really everywhere. And it doesn't come in the, the little tiles. This is a huge tile. Yeah. It goes all the way. It's what more than a foot. Yeah, you can actually get uh, uh, two by two tiles. You can get them, you know, as small as as this backsplash here, almost a, a half inch tile. So there's there's various sizes and and just so many colors. It's really any color you can imagine in tile you can find out there. All right. Now this is not granite. You told me, but it sure looks like it to me. Yes, this is uh, this is quartz. This has really become popular in the last five to seven years, and it's. 95% quartz or natural and 5% man-made. And the reason this has really become popular is because of the consistency. When folks want to get a countertop that looks like granite but has the same color throughout, because with your natural granites, um, y you know, you, you never know what you're going to get because it's a, it's a natural stone. So the veins kind of come in like you have white over there and mixed in with the brown. You never really know where that's going right. to happen. Right. You can okay. kind of see that here. You can see the veining come through in, in, in multiple, you know, different, different, uh, different looks. And this comes in all kinds of different colors, too. I mean, you could right. have a white countertop. You could choose whatever you wanted. And there's more companies doing the, the engineered stone now. It started out with just a, a couple, uh, Sile Stone or Caesar Stone were the main. But now you've got, uh, you know, 10 to 20 different c companies doing the engineered stone. So the color palette really has increased tenfold. Now, when we say high-end, we mean price as well. Right, yes. <laughs> now, there are other solid surfaces that aren't quite as expensive. What, what would be your option there? This is a, a great example. It's, it's the Corian. DuPont actually came out with Corian about 20 years ago. Their scientists were looking for a, a countertop to do their experiments on. And this countertop is really a, a plastic laminate, or a plastic, not a laminate, excuse me, a plastic based countertop. And it's a virtual seamless system. So you can see this is actually two, two pieces of the material put together and silicone together. But when you look at the front, there's it no, looks like one piece. Right, right. It's used a lot in, in hospital, restaurant applications because it's really sanitary. So it's a, a virtual seamless system that's, that's very sanitary and, and uh, is used in those commercial applications. And the sinks are made out of this as well, so it's just one piece, right. including the sink. You can, do, you can either do a solid surface sink and undermount it, or you can undermount a stainless steel, porcelain, so you can really do any sink with this material. It's yeah, very versatile. Less crevices for stuff to hide in. That's right. Right. That's all right. right. Well, these are all beautiful, beautiful countertops, whichever you choose, I guess. It really just depends on your budget. That's right. All right. Thanks, Fabio. Thank you.